All right, we're talking with Frank and Louise of Binary Labs, and they're going to show us a great new app that they've just released yesterday. All right. All right. Well, thanks, Scott. Yeah, we're excited about uh, POV, which is our latest app in our family of skill building apps. Uh, our apps tend to uh, focus on uh, the fundamental skills you need to succeed in school, things like fine motor skill development, uh, correct letter formation, and our most recent app will focus on spatial reasoning skills. And that will have broad applications across uh, mathematics, uh, navigation, even understanding basics like the, uh, left and right. So, cool. We, okay, good. Here's a top view of So she's the telling objects. us that this is a top view of objects around. and to drag the objects around the screen. Okay. okay. This is the intro now and explore mode so kids can get a sense of, of how the tool objects. works. So we tap Here's a camera, how the objects look from and the now camera we see at the top there at the top the side view. Drag the objects around the screen. So we're going to drag the objects to see how they move. Do they get bigger or smaller? So as you move things in the Do top down view right? on the bottom part of the screen, you have the side view, and you can see now, how things are changing. Right, getting larger, getting smaller, moving. Uh, left or right. And there are multiple camera angles in the top-down view. Which is why it's called POV, camera, point so of view, for different points of view. All right, and so is this just kind of like an explore Can mode at the, the moment? Yep, this okay. is the intro so and explore. So we also have activity modes. The first activity is called vantage point. Tap the camera with the correct view. So you're going to tap the camera with the correct view. So here's where they have to apply their spatial reasoning. And this is the outcome that you want at the top of the mm -hmm. screen mm -hmm. and you need to figure out down below here which camera, which one of the four cameras will represent that view on the top. All right. So okay. let's see, let's think this through. We've got the block is on the left and the ball is on the right kind of in the distance. So I'm going to guess that it's this camera. That's right. Okay, and we get feedback at the top of the screen that shows the answer I selected and what I was going for. The, the, the original request. Right, so, you know, as we Tap level... the camera with the correct view. So we get a series of these. So there's your next question, and there's the, the outcome that you want to achieve at the top here. I'm gonna guess it's this one. Good job. Oh, he's so good. <laughs> so now we're gonna get one wrong um, to show. Try again that you show the answer you selected, uh, you can see that it's wrong, and then what you're going for. And you try again, and hopefully this time we get it right. I'm gonna go with ball on the right. This guy. Keep trying. Oh well. And as we say, this is also for directionally challenged adults. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it really is hard until you try it. You, you so that, but that's a, that's a good question. So what is your target audience? We've said 8 to 18, okay. and it really depends upon the skill level. Mm -hmm. We've been talking to teachers here today, and some of them from North Carolina said this is an assessment item on their 4th grade math oh, test. interesting. From Louisiana on their 7th grade math state test. Huh. So it's got a range, because they have to do this top view, side view choices. Very neat. Um, so the last act, last activity. activity is called Make a Scene, and we present a scene the objects to match the camera view and then check your answer. Okay, so up here in the upper right we're presenting a camera view and you have to move the objects um, and you can get a little sneak peek of what it looks like. On in the, the upper, upper left, left as you move it shows the yeah. side view in real time. All right, so this is kind of hard to do. And for, I'm going to uh, just zoom in on that as you're moving it around. Okay, so it looks like I've got a blue block off in the distance. This is the active cameras indicated by green. And then if I move this guy over here, I think I'm getting close. We're going to check that answer. That's right. We get it right. Okay. And the other thing to the note, we're on level one. As you level up to level answer. 10, it mm -hmm. adds objects. And the objects, we get two tri uh, rectangles that are different orientations. And we have four different colors of rectangles. And we have another cube that is a different color. It's actually a pattern. So you end up with multiple objects that you have to move. And on level 10, you have 10 different objects that you have to that you be can doing manipulate. this interpretation wow. and manipulation. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about the data tracking. Well, that, that's a key component, particularly for, for schools. So um, 
sure. too far away. So in all of our apps, you can get reports based on the activity. We keep track of accuracy, uh, elapsed time, and how that compares to previous performance. Here you can see we're in single user mode, and we've been tracking the activity for each of the individual um, activities that we, we presented. We also have multi-user uh, mode, which you can buy either as an in-app purchase uh, or through the volume purchase program, we have special versions. That you can use for a whole classroom? For a whole classroom. Whole school? It'll, it'll track uh, an unlimited number of students individually by, by name wow. and their individual performance. So how do I get this report? Uh, the report is automatically generated in the app and then you can choose to email that report to parents, administrators, teachers, therapists, wherever you want to go. Sweet. Very nice. Frank, Luis, thank you very much. Thank Wish you, you a lot of luck with thanks, the app. Scott. All right, thanks a lot. All righty.